happy Fun Fold Friday, everyone. Boy, do I have an awesome Fun Fold for you today. Now, this Fun Fold has been out there for a while, and a lot of people have made them. There are tons of tutorials out there, but I have a special, uh, I'm going to make mine different, and I'm going to make it a lot easier than they do, so I can't wait to share this with you. Um, my name is Christina Reese, and this is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page to share card tutorials with card makers. And I just love helping you guys out and giving you tips and ideas, and it, it just makes for a lot of fun. Okay, one thing, though, before I totally get started today, and that is... I want to share with you guys some cards I've been getting in the mail. I uh, said I was going to do this on Mondays from now on, and to tell you the truth, I just keep forgetting. So you know how that goes. All right, so very quickly, this one came yesterday, and this is what reminded me to do this because this card made me laugh when I opened it. Oh, my gosh. So this is from my fairy card mother, Bobby. Thank you very much. And uh, check this out. So it's just a precious little squirrel. It says, oh, happy day. Very, very cute. Nothing, you know, just beautiful. Then I opened it. Happy Squirrel Appreciation Day. I mean, who would have thought? Oh my gosh, that just made me laugh. Thanks, Bobby. I love it. It is so cute. All right, my next card. This one I got back. Um, this is Kathy, and she is a good friend of mine. And this is a sympathy card. And she sent me some rosemary, the herb of remembrance. And it comes from her garden. Um, she was saddened to hear about my father passing. And, of course, my father passed a year ago. Uh, but I have yet to share this card with you all, and I wanted to share that with you. So I apologize, Kathy, for not sharing it earlier. I just uh, really appreciate it, though. And then, um, oh, no, I'm sorry, Kathy. You're right. It wasn't a year ago. It was for my fa for my husband's father. Oh, goodness. And th this was this November. So my father passed last November. My husband's father passed this November. So that card was for my, my husband's father. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs> and this one is from my good friend, and she's also on my team, Reese's Paper Pieces. And Jeanette, thank you very much. She also sent me a sympathy card, actually for me and my husband, because it was his uh, father who passed, but I just loved my father-in-law. Terry was an awesome guy. And um, so thank you, Jeanette. That's very beautiful. And... A thank you card. I got a thank you card from Krista Adams thanking me for uh, winning the Wednesday challenge. If you're not familiar with the Wednesday challenge, every Wednesday when I come on this Facebook Live, I do a card challenge and I always uh, uh, do a random drawing of whoever entered the contest and send a prize out. All right, and this one is also a thank you card. And uh, for all the recognition, Sherry got silver and she advanced, she's on our team, my team, and she advanced the silver and I sent her some fun little gifts and she sent a thank you card in that beautiful. I love the layering tags, so pretty. And one, oh no, a couple more. Um, so then my husband got COVID and Barbara, he thanks you very much. He appreciated it. Peel better soon. And this was from just sending some happy thoughts your way. This was from our paper pumpkin, um, the cute little uh, puns. I just, that was very good, Barbara. Thank you so much. Then, uh, well, I got two more and they're both very, um, well, this one is from the home office, okay? Chad Williams is the demonstrator development manager for my area, which is Texas and some other states around. Um, and he's a pretty cool guy, but he made me a card. And he said, you're absolutely amazing. And then typed up a nice note um, congratulating me for winning the incentive trip. And I could not have done that without you guys. So thank you very much. And he thanks you also. And then finally, my very, well, I got a postcard from overseas last year. This is my first airmail stamp. I haven't had an airmail stamp. Well, my father used to send them when he was overseas, but um, cool Australia stamps. I love it. And this is from Stephanie Wynn. Thank you, Stephanie. And this was her Christmas card. It just finally came. <laughs> so she sent this really beautiful Christmas card. So thank you, Stephanie. All right. That was all the cards that I wanted to share with you. And like I said, I do appreciate it. Um, what I'm going to teach you how to do today is called a twist and flip. Okay, you ready? So twist and flip. So it twists 
and it flips. <laughs> twist and flip or twist and pop up. But I'm gonna show you all. And like I said, there are a bazillion tutorials on how to do these on the internet and I was watching quite a few of them. But um, this is what I really wanna show you how to do. Instead of rectangles or squares like everybody has, I trimmed mine and made hearts. So, and I'm calling this a Galentine card. Um, hello, friend. You're always in my heart. And the always in my heart stamp comes from this one, always in my heart. If you haven't seen this, is in our annual catalog. Um, it was a carryover, but there's that stamp right there. All right, so let's put all this out of the way for a minute and let me show you what we're going to do. So first, the very first step, and I'm gonna go slow so I don't accidentally skip a step. I'm gonna follow my directions really carefully. Um, and also all the measurements are on the blog. Let me put my blog name up there. There we go. So you can go over to the blog and write the measurements down or um, see them over there, but I'm gonna be showing them to you here also. So the first thing is we need a base and this base is just traditional four and a quarter by 11 inches, no problems. And we're just going to score that down the center at five and a half and that's our card base, okay? So there's our card base. One more time, four and a quarter by five and a half, all right? Now, next thing is the thing that I'm putting my hearts on, okay? So right now, it's a rectangle. Okay, I need to zoom out because I don't want this cropped so much. Whoa, let's go there, that's good. All right, and you can see kind of my white desk. Let me see if I can't, well, no. We're just gonna deal with it. <laughs> We're gonna deal with the white desk over there. Okay. Um, so here we go. This is two and a half, all right? And there'll be a picture of this on my blog by 11. Then it is just folded in half at five and a half and then folded back in half at three, uh, two and three quarters, okay? And you're just making an accordion fold, all right? So one more time, two and a half by 11, accordion fold, okay? All right, so let's do that. And you don't even really have to have a scoring tool for this. You can just fold it in half and fold it in half, but I like to do it this way. So do it that way, and then two and three quarters, which is half of five and a half. And then I turn it around instead of extending my arm out because it's the same measurement on both sides. But if you wanted to extend your arm out, it would be eight and, I think eight and a quarter. Yeah, I think so. Anyways, uh, so fold it in half and then fold it back in half on itself like that, okay? So this is the piece we're gonna be putting our hearts on, okay? Let me put that to the side. Next, we need the mechanism piece, all right? The piece that actually does the uh, twist and pop up. So here we go. First thing, um, first of all, it's cut at two inches. Okay, two, let me pull that up, two inches by eight and a half inches, all right, two by eight and a half. Now, we're gonna score right down the center lot length, the center uh, lot lengthwise, and that's at one. So we're just gonna put that right in there and take my scoring tool and just score right in half lengthwise. So we got that and then just go ahead and fold it. All right. Now, what we need to do is we're gonna put a crisscross in the middle, however, our crisscross needs to be at three and a quarter. Start at three and a quarter here and end at three and a quarter here. Whoops, sorry, I twisted it. So three and a quarter here and three and a quarter here and both on this side also. Three and a quarter here and three and a quarter down here, all right? And the way to do that is I take this and put it in at three and a quarter, okay? And then I start a little tick right there, all right? Just a little mark. Then, oh, and then also on the other end, I forgot. Okay, and then come over here on this side and do it on this side. And it doesn't matter if you go further um, because you're not gonna see this. This is the mechanism piece and you're not even gonna see it. I wouldn't go all the way across though. Um, it'll, in a, it'll mess up in the folding, but three and a quarter and three and a quarter. Okay, now that I've got those tick marks there, I can go and put one right there and the other right there. And I know you can't see it very well. Let me pull the pattern back out for you. Um, but we're gonna just be going across from the three and a quarter mark to the three and a quarter mark. There we go. And then we're gonna do it the other way. Okay, and right 
there. Alrighty. Okay, and so I'll pull it up so you can see it better maybe. Eh, it's kind of, yeah, there we go. All right, so that's what we did there. Okay. All right, so we have our base. We have our mechanism. We have our hearts layer. All right. And then one more piece is we need to cut fancy, and that is the DSP. And this is the inside, and you're going to make two of these, and you're going to cut them four and five and a quarter, but then you're going to mark it at two and at two, and then cut these off. And this piece, let me show you in the uh, card I made last night. This piece um, goes, can you see that? Right there. So it goes up into the mechanism. Um, yeah, so it, that's what these two pieces are for. Okay. And once again, uh, let's put that one there. So what I'm gonna do is put this at the two mark, okay, and make a little tick, and then turn it this way at the two mark, and make a little tick, and then flip it like this to get the two inch mark, all right? There we go. Now you could do a pencil instead if that's easier to see. Um, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that tick mark there and that one there. Oh, and I'm gonna take the other piece because I might as well cut them both at the same time. All right, so layer them together. And one more time, let's get that in there and that in there. And then take my cutting blade and cut that. All right, and then twist it. And that tick mark is right there. Whoops, that point is right there. There we go. All right, and now we have these two pentagons, <laughs> okay? And these go on the inside. All right, now, have you noticed this gorgeous paper? Holy gamolies. So this paper is only available when you purchase $100. And you don't just get the paper, but let me show you the paper. You also get the stamp set. It's a bundle for $100. Is that so gorgeous? I love it. Beautiful pastels. And then here's the stamp set that goes with it. Hello, friend. And then I um, hope you have a ha best birthday. hope you have the best birthday. And you have my love and support. And then these beautiful flowers. So this and the paper together, only during January and February celebration, okay? Uh, pretty awesome deal. And also, when you use my host code, uh, I will send you a nice thank you gift at the end of the month um, when you spend $50 or more. So if you spend $100 to get this uh, friendly hello bundle, then I will also send you another gift. All right. Now, here are my hearts, and these I've just cut out uh, from that friendly hello paper. And I'm using the stitched heart that goes with well, the name, Bouquet of Love, that's it. This was the Bouquet of Love hybrid um, embossing folder and dies, where this die goes in that embossing folder I did the other day. Um, so I'm using that heart to cut out four hearts. All right. Oh, and then this, um, what's this one from? Why did I pull this one out? Where's my card? Here it is, the front of my card. The Hello Friend fits inside this piece right here. Cool, huh? All right, so that was that was fun. So I wanted to show that. And this is called Stitched So Sweetly Dies. Great die set. Okay, let's put this card together. So we have our base. We have our accordion. We have our mechanism. All right, and put these over here. Okay, there we go. And we need to put this together. So in my instructions, I have make the heart layer first. So let's get our accordion and our hearts. We'll move that over, okay? And what we're going to do is we're gonna glue these in the different squares. However, we're gonna leave room between the two to hold the hearts together, okay? And you can put these, of course, in any order. Um, it doesn't really matter. 
but let me get my glue and I am using glue. Glue not only holds really firm, but um, it also gives your card a little more strength. It thickens it up a bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a nice bit of glue there on the hearts and let me just go ahead and do all of them at the same time. I love this paper, pastel, so pretty and spring will be here before we know it. I know you all in the north are buried in snow right now. I just have a cold nose because it's 34 degrees here in Texas or up here in North Texas. <laughs> all right, now let's put these on here. So my first one, I'm just, and another thing about glue is it wiggles a little bit so you can get it just lined up right where you want it. Okay, and then this one, oh, I was gonna put the peach one there. So I'll put this one here. And like I said, just pretty much you want to center it. You want to keep them all the same distance um, around. We're going to be cutting it out, of course. Um, but it's very important that you have, that you don't cut the, the hearts apart when you're trimming around the hearts, okay? You want to um, have them connected. Okay. All right. And then this cute peachy one right here. There we go. All right, now that I have the hearts on here, I am just gonna take my snips and cut around them. So give me a sec, let me do that, it's real simple. I'm just leaving about an eighth of an inch all the way around. And when I come to the fold, right there, I twist and go the other way, okay? There we go. And I'm not being most careful on my cutting, but you get the idea. So I was talking about celebration, and this is our, it's either our annual sale or uh, semi-annual. We've always had one a year, but then last year we did two, and they're um, talking about doing two again this year. So uh, this one is only going to go through February. Then, hopefully, in July, we will have another one like we did last year. Celebration is when you purchase at least $50 before tax and shipping, okay? So it's $50 before the tax and shipping. You, uh, it pops up these items that you can choose from. And this item is available when you spend $100. And it's just, it's very popular and so pretty. There's other things going on during celebration. We also have, if you spend up to $300 or if you get some friends together and y'all go in together like a, a group, then the host, whoever puts the order in, gets to choose, well actually they're given, there's a free stamp set when you spend $100 and it is a bunch of sayings, a bunch of sentiments, awesome, awesome piece to have in your collection. And then finally, during celebration, and this is the really cool part, if you join Stampin' Up! and uh, you sign up to be um, a demonstrator, and you don't have to be a business demonstrator like me, you can be a business hobbyist, um, but when you sign up, they're giving you two more free stamps on top of the already amazing deal. And the deal is you spend $99 and you choose $125 out of the catalog. Plus, they throw in a paper pumpkin and free shipping. Shipping on that would be a hundred, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, $12.50, because shipping is always 10%. So you're saving quite a bit on your shipping uh, when, you, when you do the special. All right, I'm just gonna trim that a little more, make that look a little better. There we go. Huh. All right, so there we have our little accordion heart. Cool. <laughs> that was pretty simple, wasn't it? All right. Now let's put our card together. So we have our base, all right, and we need to make our mechanism. Now the mechanism, you're going to fold it in half like we did. Oh, well, you know what? I don't have comments on. I apologize, you all. You all have probably been talking up a storm and I haven't seen it. There we go. All right, and then on this crisscross, you just fold this way and get a nice crease there. And then uh, this way. Okay. I was reading what Joey was saying 
Uh, love the paper, however, I need the die cut machine embossed cuddle bug. My friend has me, wasn't working. I left it behind when I moved from to Clintonville. Good idea. <laughs> I guess you're, yeah, gotta have a cut and emboss machine or, yeah, that's like a major staple for card makers. All right, here we go. Here's our mechanism. We fold it on the crisscross. So we fold it like this, but as we're folding it, we pop it in, okay? So what you can do is you can like put your finger there and hold while you fold these in, okay? And this is the mechanism, all right? Pretty cool, huh? Now, we're going to attach it to our card. And we're gonna use glue again because we wanna make sure this thing stays stuck. We don't want this falling apart on us, especially our friend that we send it to. Oh, and one more thing. This is a very thick card, this mechanism and the accordion folded hearts. So it will take extra postage to send it. Alrighty, and now um, you can eyeball it or you can use grid paper and center it. There we go. And just put that right there. And like I said, I'm using glue, so um, it's stuck, but you're going right up into the fold there. Not over the fold or you can't close your card, okay? Give, give yourself some room there and make sure that's stuck. Give it a sec, let it hold. And once you have that, all right, see how it opens? Then we're going to close the card down on this triangle. And you're only putting glue at the triangle, nowhere else, okay? There we go, and let's close our card. All right, so let's hold that for a minute. <laughs> Thanks, Deborah. Deborah says, it's okay that you couldn't see the comments. <laughs> I just forgot to turn the, flip the uh, part of my computer there. All right. Yay. So fun. Okay. Now pay attention. This part's very important or you will not get your mechanism to open correctly. You um, make sure you, this is the front of your card. Okay. When you open it, you want your hearts to be this way. All right. So be careful. Make sure you know this is the front of your card. And when you have it open like this, you're going to be putting your hearts right here. Okay. However, Yeah, is that right? Let me double check. Where's my original? Here it is. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you can see how it doesn't go all the way back there, all right, and that's okay, all right? But it does lay flat, all right? So you're gonna want the center fold right there at the center where you uh, your mechanism is, okay? So it's gonna go right there, all right? And you can go a little higher, a little lower, it doesn't really matter, okay? Um, you can have it like a little higher like that, or you can have it a little lower. Um, however you feel, you are gonna see the mechanism. When you do the rectangles, you don't see the mechanism, but when you do, when you cut this out, you do. But that's okay, because I made it all the same color, so it's pretty. All right, what we do. So we hold it in place there in the center, and fold back this part. And right here, let me zoom in so you all can see what I'm doing here. All right, let me move over. There we go. Right here is where you want to adhere the heart. Do not put any adhesive here or you will not be able to open your card, okay? So just right here. And um, you don't need that much, just enough to kind of hold it here. All right. Okay. Wiggled. Okay, there we go. And it looks like we can go all the way to the end. Yeah, because I want to make sure this stays. There we go. And hold that for a sec. And now we're going to do the exact opposite on the other side, okay? So let's move it over here to this heart and fold it back. All right, and um, it may help to use a pencil and mark where where the edge is because you're going to be putting glue down here. Okay, so let me fold that heart back. I'm trying to hold my finger in place so I can see where the heart was. There it is. And we're just going to put some glue in this corner. Okay, don't get it up here. All right, it's the opposite corner. Okay, and then we just hold that for a sec. 
love that. Now let's make sure this works, okay? Woo, pop out, okay? This, your heart will, co whoa, let me zoom back out. <laughs> there we go. Your hearts will come in, okay, to close. Oh, it wasn't dry, yikes. Hold on, hold everybody. Hold your horses. Ah, <laughs> yeah, make sure it dries. Oh, come on, there we go. Okay, so there we go, and all right, um, how can I show you this? This is hard to see. Okay, here we go. All right, so when you close it, watch this, it's going to twist. and close. Cool, huh? You see that? <laughs> so it twists and closes like that, and it doesn't stick out at the end. Now, you need to be careful of that when you're doing these shapes um, that you don't, it's 11 inches from this, whoa, from this end all the way to this end, so you don't want to go, if, if you want to make sure it doesn't go extend past, uh, you may go 10 and a half or 10 and a, uh, three quarters inch long with your hearts, whatever. Um, but the 11 inch works fine. Isn't that cool? All right, I'm gonna show you the one I made again. And, um, and like I said, all of this is gonna be on my blog, okay? So um, I decorated it. Let's see, what did I do? Um, this one I did in the pretty, um, oh gosh, what color is this? Hold on, you guys, I just lost my, Fresh Freesia, that's it, Fresh Freesia. Or Fresh Freesia, I'm not sure how to say that. <laughs> um, and I love, so they did the black here, so I picked up the black. And this little sprig is from our new punch. Have y'all seen the uh, bows and bows or something like that? Where did, well, fiddle dee dee, what did I do with it? Oh, here it is, okay. Yeah, if you all like punches, especially when you need spray and things coming out, if you like layering, this is a great punch uh, from the Bows and Bows or something like that. Uh, and then I, um, actually I stamped this and colored it. I did not cut, I did not fussy cut. I stamped and colored. I meant to put a jewel on there, I forgot. And then this, I did fussy cut the bird. Let me pick it up so you can see it better. From the designer paper. Um, just another heart here. Oh, I forgot to put this paper on that I cut out. I'll let you, I'll, I'll do that in just a sec. And then You're Always in My Heart. That was from the stamp set, um, Always in My Heart stamp set. There it is. And of course the scallop die and these dies came from Stitch So Sweetly. And that is all there is to it, okay? So it's a great Galentine card. You all familiar with Galentine's Day, <laughs> the day before Valentine's? All right, I hope you all enjoyed this. Remember, all the instructions are on my blog, okay? So creatingwithchristina.com. It's gonna be today's post, and it's called Twist and Pop-Up Galentine Card, okay? You all, and also don't forget, if you don't have a catalog, message me. I'll send you a catalog, um, the celebration and the new mini catalog. And if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, don't forget, creatingwithchristina.com. That's where you do that. You'll see the pop-up um, window where you sign up. Okay, have a blessed weekend. Love you guys, and see you on Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs>